Okay, we're here at 507 um, Sinaloa Avenue here in uh, Pasadena. Now, we're running our camera from a 4-inch cleaner located where the pipe exits the house over here. It's a very old house over here, um, 1922. Probably whoever's going to buy the house should definitely redo the plumbing over here. What I did do for you is I marked a couple of locations for you along the way. I did put one uh, location at the property line by the driveway where it's like two feet deep. And the sewer line actually goes all the way down past the, the neighbor's property into most likely yeah. into Villa Avenue. Villa Street. Villa Street, the main road over there. Now, we're unable to push our camera any further than this over here. But we've come into the street uh, down on Villa. Um, but we cannot push our camera any further. Now, very typical of Pasadena, it looks like a cast iron pipe over here. Um, we ran a lot of water down the line. The water's flowing very well. It's not backing up at all. So, you know, my experience with a cast iron piping from the 1922, although it's 100 years old, that's when cast iron was really strong material. The only thing it does, it develops a little bit of rust buildup inside, which is very common for a cast iron pipe. So there's a very good possibility that this pipe may last for several years to come. And uh, probably what would be the, the least you should, <coughs> you should do over here is to replumb the house, take it all the way up to the property line, put a clean out in there, we can then come here with a, with a cable, with a blade, run it through the cast iron pipe all the way to the city sewer and descale the pipe as much as possible because we never saw any breaks in the line or any roots or anything getting through it. So right now we are short of the city sewer, uh, but we cannot put the camera any further. We're going to bring the camera back. It's all cast iron piping. You can see it's obviously getting a little old and it does have some rust build up in it. Uh, straightens up over here. But the water flowed very well. Um, you can definitely descale the pipe and probably get several more years out of it. That would be my opinion. Uh, because to replace this pipe would be a very expensive job. And does it really need to be done? I doubt that very much. So as long as you you can maintain it and descale it. Don't flush tampons, baby wash, paper towels. There's no reason, in my opinion, why the pipe can't last for many years to come. And considering that it's a hundred years old, it really doesn't look that bad. takes a turn here and around about this area over here is where it exits the property 
So we would highly recommend that when you do redo the plumbing is to go to the property line, get rid of all this pipe, put a clean out at the end there, call us, we'll come and run a cable with a blade and a camera, we'll descale the pipe as best as possible until obviously replacement will be necessary, but um, like I said, it definitely can be maintained, that's my opinion. Whatever you do, don't flush tampons, baby wipes, paper towels, things like that. Also, the pipe was very dry when we got here because nobody's been living in the house. So it dries it up real a lot. Okay, so here it comes out of this clean out over here. We'll go ahead, stop the recording over here.